Fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a caddis fly pattern. And this one I found on Johan Putt's blog. And he called it his JP Realistic Wings Caddis. So here I've done a few changes to the fly. The overall shape would be quite the same. The hook I'm using is the Partridge Standard Dry size 60. And the thread is the nano silk from Semperfly 80 knot in beige. So we'll start here right at the eye, just putting down a little bit of thread, then up to the eye again, cut off the excess. Here I will tie in some antennas. You could go for a lot of materials, but I'm going to use some mayfly tails, cut off two strands, then we want to align the tips. These two should be about the length of the hook or slightly longer. So tie this in facing forward right here at the eye. And then go back a few turns, then back up again. And here, now I want to tie in some eyes. I like to have some eyes on my caddis fly. I mostly use them for my caddis pupas. For this caddis fly they work as well. So here I have some black nylon thread. This one is a quarter of a millimeter. I just trap these in my needle nose pliers and then with lighter will then burn the ends and these will curl up into two small eyes for this fly. And once they've cooled off, we can then tie these in to the top of the fly, 90 degrees from the hook shank. This can be quite difficult with these really, really small flies. A lot easier with this really thin thread. We can really make a lot of turns without building up any bulk at all. And then what I do is to take some turns just under the eyes, like you would for a pair post. This will really bind them down and make sure they don't do not rotate around the hook shank. And here we can continue tying down these antennas here, and then when we reach the half point of the, in the hook, we can cut these off and then take the thread down to the band. And here, actually, we want to go a little bit down the band. We will tie in a tag here that will represent uh, the caddis fly is laying eggs. So for this I'm going to tie in one single CDC feather. This one is in the color of fluo green and we will tie this in Petit Jean style. You tie in the feather with a few loose turns and then you can pull it to only trap just the tip of the feather and then up to about where the barb of the hook should be. Then take a feather and spin it. And as you spin it, you also want to make touching turns going up the shank of the hook. Then as you reach the thread, tie it off with a few quite heavy turns and then cut off the excess. The rest of the body I'm going to do exactly the same but with an olive feather. So tie it in with a few loose turns, then pull the feather up to only catch the tips of the fibers. And here we can bring this back to where we tied in the last material. And then touching turns, bind down all these materials up the body. And here we want to stay a few millimeters behind the eyes. And as we did for the other feather, spin it. And at the same time, we'll do touching turns up the body. This will make for a nice segmented fly and as well give it a lot of floatability. Then when you reach the thread again, tie this off the same way as we did before. A few heavy turns, one in front. Then 
cut off close and here we have all these fibers sticking out you could leave these if you want to but I like to trim this down it will make for a nice looking body and you will see the segmentation and the taper as well a few turns to tidy up in front for the wing of the fly I'm not going to use a plastic wing as you unput it but I'm going with a mix of CDC and also then a soft hackle feather on top so the first thing I will tie in is this CDC feather this one is tan I will just tie this in right on top of the hook right in front of the body and then we can pull this to length I want this to be slightly longer than the body as most or as all caddis fly have this shape they have actually a really short body and then most of the fly is actually only wing so here I selected one single feather from a whiting's soft tackle this one is in the color golden straw tie this in exactly the same way as the CDC right on top with a few loose turns and then pull this to length holding everything tight we can bind it down with a few heavy turns then lift up the two feathers make some turns underneath and cut off the two now we can make a few turns to tidy up just these ends here then the last part of this fly is to tie in the material for the thorax and head this will also represent the legs for this I'm using some mule deer hair this is a lot softer and thinner than regular deer hair so here what I've done is to take just a little clump I've aligned the tips and then insert the tips first here in the clip and then cut off the ends this way it's way easier to handle then take your thread back to the base of the wing and here to tie it in this deer hair I will use the split thread technique and you spin your bobbin counterclockwise and then when the thread is flat come in with your dummy needle and split the thread in two then we want to insert the deer hair between the strands of thread and here you can move it just a little but this is quite slippery material so don't do this too much then we can start cording up with your fingers and then spin your bobbin clockwise again and this will further cord the thread and trap all these fibers in and then you will have this nice deer hair chenille bring all the turns up and then your bobbin and here we want to start making just a few turns up the thorax area if you're not happy you can always go back and almost everything should be right behind the eyes and then the last turn should be in front then we want to push all these materials back and the easiest way to do this is to use just a regular pen and here taking out the ink in it so with this you can really push all these small fibers back and then hold, holding these between your fingers you can then make a few turns right behind the eye of the hook and then the last thing to do is to whip finish and try to not trap any of the fibers and here we want not to cut these antennas but all the rest of the deer hair at least here on top of the fly we will cut down at an angle going from the front to the back so this will 
taper up and then nicely continue into the wing. We want to do this on the sides as well. And then on the knees, we can just cut away a few of the fibers right here at the head of the fly. But then we want to leave the thorax with a little longer ones sticking back. And there we have a caddis fly. Thank you for liking and commenting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time.